Hi, I'm Trish from TrishNewbury.com and welcome to the sew along for the pleat top beanie. So this is in response to Rachel's request for a pleated beanie. Uh, this one's really fast and quick. So you can download the pattern from my website and when you're ready um, cut it out. Now this pattern needs to have, it's a one size pattern, it needs around about 40% stretch. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, obviously it's a winter type beanie so I'm sewing this today in a merino wool. Um, it's just a medium weight it feels, I don't know exactly, but it feels like around about a, a 190 um, could possibly be a 180. Okay so the main thing you need to know about this pattern is make sure you put the notches in, it's really important. I'm sewing it today with my serger overlocker, four threads of colour. Um, you could use a zigzag or a lightning bolt stitch on your regular sewing machine. And just go ahead and watch lesson three of my Learn to Sew if you need more help with that. So, when you're ready, we are going to start by tidying or securing the edge that's got the notches in it. Now, we're not going to cut anything off as we sew. Just surge through that because you will be able to see the notches through your stitches. Okay, so now fold this right sides together so that the notches are at the top or the bottom and overlock the edge together. So down this edge, just up from the bottom, you'll have a notch. So go to your iron and turn this to the wrong side at that notch position, which is 5 centimeters 2 inches, and press a hem around like that. Here is my hem pressed into place. And now we're going to sew the hem. So you can use a twin needle if you need to, or I'm going to use my cover stitch machine. Right, so place your fabric so it is right side inside and come to this top edge and locate the notches and then just pop some pins in so you can see where they are. We're just going to stitch the two layers together through those notches. Now we only need to go a very short way, maybe a quarter of an inch, so we're just literally going to go a couple of stitches forward and a couple of stitches back. Just secure that into place and we're going to do that for each of these and you'll be able to see those notches through that overlocking line. Now what we're going to do is come to this folded edge here pick this up and you'll see there's a notch right on the very edge. So what we're going to do is pick up that notch and fold it so that it is sitting on top of that last stitch line we just did. So when you have that like so, you're going to need a tape measure. So take your tape measure, measure down one inch, two and a half centimeters and then place a small mark or if you wanted to you could put a pin make sure you have a ball head pin so we want a mark on this side and we want a mark on this side as well 
like so. So to make sure it's in the right place, what we're looking for is perpendicular. We want a right angle, straight here and straight down with that notch in the very center. So that notch there is on that little tiny stitch line we just did. And then you want to turn this to the side. And on that mark, just sew another small tack. It's a couple of stitches forward and a couple of stitches back. And that's all we're doing. And then turn it around. Now it's just on those two folded edges there. We'll do that. A couple forward and a couple back. Now we're going to do it for the next pleat as well. So open this up. Place that stitch line on that stitch line there. Come down an inch and stitch that together on the side. And on the other side. This is what we've got so far. Okay. Now you might find it easier to come to the other end now. So now we're coming to this end that we serge together. And just do exactly the same thing. Open that seam up. Place that seam on that tack line. Come to just the two layers of fabric on the side and stitch at an inch. one left to do. So same thing. Open that up. Take this and fold it all up. So we want the um, side seam surging line. We want to create all of those pleats together again that we tacked. Might be easy. You might find it easier if you just match those four tack positions on the side on one side and do the same on the other side. So here is the centre back, and here is the centre front. Okay, once you have everything sitting really nicely, what we're going to do is we're going to sew across the top here, but only a short way. So we want to sew a seam around about a centimetre, three-eighths of an inch, either side of this centre back serge line, and um, it needs to be at the base of the surge, so it's only six mil quarter of an inch away from the top and across in the very center. We're going to secure all those label all those labels, all those um, pleats together. You could make it smaller than a centimetre, three eighths of an inch, you could make it um, six mil, quarter of an inch if you want. And then lastly, I'm going to do a cross, so coming down a centimetre from the top, I'm just going to make a cross in the centre 
and just like that you can I mean you can go tidy up your threads if you want to or you probably should and just like that your beanie is done so if we turn through we have a lovely pleated top so thanks for joining me with a sew along if you like what you see if you haven't already done it please hit the subscribe button and also I'd love to hear any of your feedback so feel free to leave a comment below